All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Wizard of Legend. I guess this is my third series on this game. Sort of third? Uh, I don't know. This will probably be an episode one. If only so people actually take a look at it. I always find setting this episode one really gets a lot more attention, so uh, I don't know. Anyway, this is a continuation to my previous two series, uh, so I'd highly recommend going back to check them out. Uh, but so this is the first major update uh, to Wizard of Legend, which... You know, came out 1.0 a year, year and a half ago, give or take. Uh, but they've finally added the uh, the fourth dungeon, the Sky Temple, and we're gonna we're gonna mess around with it, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so what did I have? Let's mess around with my spellbook. I can pick some new things out for sure. I like Chaos Crusher. Oh, but Chaos Crusher doesn't get updated. Maybe Flame Strike isn't so bad. The dash is great. What's this? Flame Breath. Floating Fireball. I could do the Summon build again, but I don't think I want to do that. I forgot there's only so many of these. I like Blazing Lariat. Tracer Barrage is kind of fun, but let's let's do this. I don't I don't entirely remember half of these, but I like that one. It's satisfying, so I'm gonna go with this. Uh, buh, 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 buh. And we do have some new outfits that I can get. I don't know how to get them. Uh, well, we have a whole bunch of gems, so let's go see if I can just buy things. Hello. Didn't I already have some of these? I don't know. Uh, buh, buh. Clothing. Clothing's here. Or, no. No, she she buys gems. This is the clothing. Spirit increases max health, increases healing received. Fury increases signature charge rate, signature damage. Oh, decreases max health, adds health regen. I can get behind that. I thought I finished this off. No, they've just added a bunch more items to the list. Okay, so these are all new. Cappy's Cinnamon Hots adds a, adds a chance of fire uh, to fire off a pair of dragon arcs when using basic arcana. Ooh. Tempts Nox, unfortunate to emerge in Chaos Trials. Oh. And Cotton Candy, a chance to release a breaking twister when using basic arcana. Cool. See, we also have Frostwing, race forward on frozen wings that unleash a cone of freezing feathers behind you. Uh, let's see. Fire off a pair of magnetized orbs that fly forward while bouncing off of each other. That's interesting. And I think a bunch of things got turned into signature moves as well, which is pretty rad. I'm going to pick up the basics, though. Fire off waves of crisscrossing flames. Ignition rush. Rush forward and ignite a fiery aura. Sure. I'm probably just going to load up on as many of these as I can. Perforating jet. Piercing jet streams of air. I'm just going to sit here and buy these, I guess. Okay, and that's maxed out. So we picked up some new new spells. We might as well use them. I'm going to go check out the orb, too. I'm probably not going to win here, but that should surprise no one. So we can do fire. We can do... I guess I'm just going to test things out. Oh, that's decently long range. Uh, let's see. We've also got Riptide. That's good for multi-hit. What's the fire? Crisscross. Interesting. I think I like the air best. So let's try perforating jet. We did get a new dash. Two new dashes. So Frostwing. Oh, that's not Frostwing. Oh, interesting. It fires backwards. That's interesting. An ignition rush. I think I like Ignition Rush. That seems pretty useful here. Okay, we've also got... What's the new one? Dragon Surge. Pair of watery dragons that track and assault your foes. Hey. That sounds kind of fun. They last for a while, too. Almost their entire duration. 
Okay, they, they might not be bad. What else do we got? Magnetic breakers. Probably do more damage than the dragons, honestly. But I like the dragons. Gale force alignment. Flowing burst of wind that forcefully lines up foes it strikes. Interesting. Huh. That's an interesting setup here. Let's see, they've been pushing this game hard and humble bundle lately. I think it's part of their Switch bundle. It's because they're published by uh, Humble Bundle, so it makes sense. Oh, that's a neat one. I think I'm going for more long range. So why don't we do... I want to use those dragons. Those water dragons seemed really cool. Let's go Dragon Surge, keep the dash, and Signatures I don't have a whole lot of options on. It's always tempting to just get Phantom Brigade as my usual go-to. So let's grab Fan Phantom Brigade as, like, one safety thing. We should go check, uh, where's the chest? Here it is. So I've got Neve's Ruby. I honestly don't even remember what the Ruby does. Okay, increases all fire, da fire are kind of damage. I like the fountain pen. Fountain pen's always good. Oh, actually, let's go defense. Let's grab giant... Is it giant's heart? Because I want to check... I want to try that health regen. There it is. So let's try fall. Oh boy. Okay, so that's that's pretty pretty punchy. Okay, so the giant's heart does not actually increase my max HP that much. Let's see, so what we probably want is some kind of defensive thing that reduces overall damage. Probably heavy tr heavy travel jacket, if anything. Heavy travel jacket's always good. Okay, this is... oh! Oh, right, right, right. We just haven't unlocked any new... Uh, we gotta get the other ones. And we're immediately going to the Wind Palace, so well, this will be kind of interesting. I've honestly, I mean, I've I've missed this game. I think I still wish it had more interesting level design, because I think that's the weakest part of the game. But like the gameplay is so good. Yeah, did the Sky Temple update drop? Yes, they dropped it. Was it today? It was either today or yesterday, and so I'm just finally getting around to it now. No matter what, this is one of those games that. Uh, makes me really excited for anything that the developers feel like making next. Okay. I really like the, uh, I really like the fire shield. Because it sticks with you for not an insubstantial amount of time. Okay. I gotta pay some attention. The dragons are interesting. They don't do a whole lot of damage. They don't have a whole lot of stun. But they exist for a while. Ow. Uh. I was right in the middle of the animation. I couldn't do anything. Okay, dropped today about five hours ago. Good to know. Ow. Whoa. Okay, so whatever that thing is, that's that's actually like a separate trap. And that's just gonna be there. It looks like oh hello. Long term arcana use. Donate an arcana for research. No thank you. That'd be real bad given the situation. That trap hurts. Let's see. 
Yeah, just take it slow. Let the dragons do the trick. I mean, I might as well let these guys go nuts. Wait, did half of them just bail? Lazy sods? Yeah, half, half my dudes just just pieced out on me. That's un, that's annoying. See, interesting how the regen works. Uh, it works like a uh, shield regen in in a lot of different games. Where effectively, uh, uh, effectively, if you don't take a hit for a little while, your HP will come back, which I think is actually a really great system. Uh, main fear is just. Let's see. The main fear is just, uh, you know, protract more protracted battles that don't give me the opportunity to rest. Not that big of a deal, but still. Let's see. What do we have here? You! I want to keep my signature charge up. I really, I really like summoner builds in this game. They are satisfying. So, you want to recently just find your channel looking for the Hammerwatch DLC. Love your content. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, actually, if you like Hammerwatch, you might be interested in this game. Kind of different. Uh, honestly. But both are fantastic roguelikes. Though I guess Hammerwatch to some degree is maybe a little bit of an oddball. Just because it's... Almost more of like an uh, Diablo-like game. Oh, that's the other game that I was going to... The, the other game I got to play tonight. I think it's called like In Darkness. Not the most like... Inspired title. Uh, but it's like a... It's an action RPG roguelike or whatever. That looks pretty neat. Ow. Oh, oh can't take too many hits like that, actually. Okay. Drop those guys. Just stay away for a little while. As long as I... As long as I just stay very careful, we're good. Because I can get my HP back. Okay, so what do we got in here? Nothing. Surprising no one, honestly. Ah, 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 ah. Robe that, plus the book that makes relics cost health equals god build. Oh... Shoot, you should, uh, remind me to take a look at that. Damage of all jump arcana. Interesting. I don't think I've seen that one before. Let's grab the cobalt firestone at the very least. Not an amazing thing for what I'm doing, but it seems useful enough. What's the button that makes the map bigger? Ah, there it is been a little while since I played this game. So you have to bear with me. I, I have to really learn parts of it. Ow. Sleazy jerk. Just changed his, uh, changed his aim. I thought, I thought he was already locked in. Whatever, it doesn't matter that much. So, blurring falconry. Hurl of falcon of wind that repeatedly assails the first enemy it strikes. Interesting. Uh, well, I have no money. So, in retrospect, it's meaningless. Are we done? No. We're still missing some spot... Probably near the boss portal? It's implying that there are enemies left over, but I don't see them. Also, the new music's pretty good. But yeah, we'll have to we'll have to go looking for that one that makes it so relics cost money. Cause yeah, that that would be amazing. Where are they? Maybe they don't exist. Maybe it's lying to me, but I wouldn't be surprised if I'm mistaken. I I don't know. Just aimless wandering, I guess. Oh, that's an that's an enemy. That counts as an enemy.
I I guess it does. Okay. I was just under the impression that those guys were, uh... Were a little more than just impediment traps. But I guess I was wrong. So, whatever enemies remain on this level, I, I'm not gonna be able to find them. Let's just get out of here. I just want the extra money. Damage taken. Negative 345. Interesting. I... I wonder... I might actually see if Shell wants to play this with me again uh, after she's back and whatnot. Because I, I bet this robe would actually be amazing for her, assuming she doesn't get killed before she can heal. Because, yeah, I, I can see this being an incredibly helpful thing for new players. The main problem is just that health reduction is painful. I also really like this fire aura. It is kind of handy. Nope. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> it's not the most amazingly effective thing. Whoops. Uh, it barely does damage, honestly. But it's really good for destroying, like, barrels and boxes in the, in the immediate area. Hello. Receive double relic drops, but lowers gold game for all wizards. Multiple graduation relics do not stack. Interesting. Critical hit chances increase for you and all allies. Increases damage, but signature can no longer be charged. I like graduation bouquet. Let's go with that. I don't know if it's a good idea, but still. Bad whirlwind. Ow. I might have trouble switching away from this. Whoops. Whoa! What the? This is a new enemy type. They don't last long. But, uh, that's certainly new. They're dudes that shoot slime fi- Ow. Slime fists. Ow. I always try and dodge out of out of their way, but they immediately redo their their aim. Wait, are these are these slimes with helmets on? They're adorable. Problem is, they do lock me into a corner and do a lot of damage, but that's okay. Because I immediately start healing. Definitely need more of a melee spell, I think. I'm not actually very good at ranged combat in these games. Ow. Like, I really... Oh, hello. Grimoire of Rune and Recycling. Uh, let's see. How do I... How do I pull those up again? Okay, here we are. Grimoire of Rune. Extra damage is summoned agents and gaining shield every time a charge signature is not activated in times out. Interesting. Useful. Now here's the question, is that dragon a summoned agent? I certainly hope so. Somebody pay attention, tell me if the damage is increased. I realize that might be a bit of a tall order, but still. I mean, it's really it's really helpful with the, uh, the Gooners. Let's see. Five damage? I think it always did five damage, unfortunately. I almost kind of wish there were spell tags so you knew exactly which ones counted as what. Maybe they are actually properly tagged. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Yep. Bip, burp, burp. Okay, went from three to four. Cool. See, what, what game has tags like... Oh, Nova Drift has tags like that, actually. And I really like it. Uh, let's see. Prevents burn status effects. All Arcana are empowered at full health. 
That's really good. Alternatively, evening gloves are really good. Well, I can't afford one versus the other right now, so evening gloves might be the thing I want to do. I don't know. We'll see. There's a mod for that, at least. Is the mod... Uh, is the mod set for... For the, uh, the current expansion, though. The DLC, the update, I don't know, whatever. Because mods tend to get busted by updates, which is my one issue. Go back. Uh, the one unfortunate thing is... Well, no, we do actually... We do earn spells occasionally. I was thinking, it's like, I might... I might, uh, have to save up for spells more than anything else. Not a big deal. And we get some money. Not much, but that's okay. Yeah, all mods are currently broken. They weren't working for you earlier when you were streaming it. Yeah, that's what I figured. I... Most mods do not survive the update process, and that's kind of okay. It gives me enough time to play it vanilla for a little while, but I, I might, uh, mess around with... I might mess around with mods more once we have a little bit more time. Okay, so the question is, do we go evening gloves? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the, the mirror that enhances all of my ar arcana. Cause the evening gloves are nice, but I don't do basic attacks that much. All our arcana are empowered when I'm at full health. Which should be most of the time. We've already done this. He's done. Let's see, there are mimics. Good to know. What the? Enemy, enemies de defeated. 1,000. Damage taken minus 1,300. What? Okay. I should sit up and take this seriously. Screw your benches. <laughs> Win Sovereign Shoe. It would be a shame for you to come this far and choke under pressure. Throw caution to the wind and give me your all. Okay. Yeah, so just avoid him. Okay, there we go. I do a decent chunk of damage. Oh, ow, whoa, okay. I do a decent chunk of damage, but uh, if I get caught by that, I die. Well, either way, time to switch things out. I like those dragon, I like that dragon. But not that much. Uh, let's see, what do we grab? Riptide, let's grab Riptide. Let's switch out the dragon for Let's see, what were the new spells? I really want the realignment. Is there a zap one? There was. There was magnetic breakers. How much damage does this do? A ton, actually. Oh yeah, that's way more damage than the air move. Let's see. Okay, so let's mess with this a little bit. So, maybe under miscellaneous. Which is the one that makes it so you took take damage? It's a book. Here we go. Wallet of Vigor. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. And, oh, I did get some crystals there. Uh, so let's grab Tearing Whirlwind, actually, instead of using the summon. Uh, we might as well actually use some of the new upgraded ones. And I, I like, uh, Tearing Whirlwind. It's a fun one. In that case, actually, we want to switch the, uh, the lightning thing out. 
It's this one. Heroic Blaze. Yeah, that's a good combo. But yeah, Wallet of Vigor plus Limited Edition Robe. Uh, maybe? It, I'm curious about certain things here. Well, actually... Poison doesn't bother me as long as I don't, you know, immediately die from it. Yeah, that's a good that's a good combo. That is that is some home homegrown butt kicking right there. And we immediately find the boss. Well whatever, it's fine. And I immediately die. Damn! Well, I killed the boss too, actually. I think? I'm pretty sure we killed each other almost mutually. Well, I didn't get anything, so let's just try that again. Because, uh, well, yeah, I, I can't face tank stuff. Well, I can, but I have to face tank things very, very lightly. So, question. If I pick this up, do I immediately die? Yeah, I immediately die. So, I can use it to get a discount, but I need a little bit more HP. Or, obviously, a little bit of gold. So the trick would be, have a little bit of gold, go back to the shop, rinse, repeat a couple of times. You can clean that place out. The main problem is, uh, there is an inventory cap in this game. That guy was just standing there, doing whatever. Okay, let's just hang out here. Whee! I just wanted to wait for my HP to come back a little bit. You know. Just because. <laughs> it's a pretty strong combo. Not gonna lie. Ow. But mostly strong combo. It's got its limitations. Mainly, I've got my limitations. Okay, yeah, that's- that's pretty satisfying. Well, that missed completely. Excuse me. None of that, you. This is a pretty dang good combo for, uh, for buffing this up. Oh, did we get a- we got an item! Uh, Three Gorges Bulwark. I don't remember what this one does. Increases resistance to water-based attacks. I honestly don't remember if that's actually useful. Excuse me, sir. Melt for me. I love stunlocking enemies. Uh, let's see. Where are we going? We're going everywhere. Unfortunately, these guys are durable ish. Because they're not that durable. They just can't be stunlocked. That's my thing. Okay, whoops. Pretty good uh, one-two punch, though. All things considered. Like, if you want to clear rooms, not a bad mix. Hello. Needs wind and rock. Oh, I might see if I can pick up a rock spell then, or an earth spell. Kind of really depends on what we've got waiting for us, ability-wise, uh, ability spell-wise. Really depends on what we got in the shop. Gonna have to change things up. Hello? Wow.
That's a lot of archers. Never mind. They're quite dead. Uh, let's see. What do we got around here? We've got that upper section I haven't checked. And this basic is really good. Uh, would be really good for a crit build. With the vampire glasses. The previous one was underwhelming. It had great range. And probably has some pretty good builds that could roll off of it. But still. Increases basic arcana damage. All others, no. Revive, no. Uh, cooldowns by half but receive double damage. That, these are all scary. Yeah, it's like a wider bolt rail. And it's a little bit less animated. Wait. Revive with low health when defeated, but consumes half of current health when picked up. Yeah, perfect. There are no downsides to this one. Maybe? Huh, interesting. I'm not healing. Well, I guess we're just gonna see how long I can go with this thing. Let's see, increases the damage of your signature arcana. I could go for the perfect time crystal. Here's a question, can I heal this back? Okay, so it looks like it just reduces, temporarily reduces my maximum health. It doesn't fix my healing, I, oops. Okay, summon a ring of lightning that pins, uh, lightning pins with a shocking current that laces them together. Interesting. Do we, do we do it? Screw it. Why not? I, none of those items seemed particularly amazing. But yeah, so the health orb will heal me, it just won't heal me up fully. Uh, until I either die or probably heal back, back up to full. Or no, it really does reduce my maximum health total for healing. Oh, nope, there it goes. There it goes, so I just needed to take a hit there to, to get it going again. Well, that Laced Lightning's actually got a huge AoE. Silver Spinning Top. Increases activation speed of Arcanos, slows movement speed. Deal double damage, receive double damage. Redu Aw. Silver Spinning Top is interesting. All of these are interesting. The problem is most of them are going to kill me. Wow, somebody survived that. So I've probably got to start with the, uh... I gotta start with the lightning move, I think. And then move on to the other one. So what do we got? Chance to charm enemies, signature charge when taking damage, knock back when striking foes. Fully charged signature arcana resets your cooldowns instead of producing the signature spell. No, none of these are good. I gotta lead with the uh, the lightning spell. I I think I could be wrong. I heard spinning top and thought you meant uh, the slay the spire relic instead. I yeah, I can see that. Yeah okay, lightning first, and I can enhance my heroic blaze. Yeah, let's keep doing that. Let's see. Actually, we should head for the shop. Let's head for the shop quick. Okay, so I need a little bit more. I'm not sure if I actually care about any of these. Absorption coil might be nice. We'll see. But yeah, I think I'm gonna give up on the free items build, just because...
I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. Get out of there. Okay. We are good. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to be, like, directly in there to actually layer the, uh, the bolt pin. Damn it. And it's, it's got a low activation time, which is unfortunate. Well, lower? I don't know. I hate getting stunned out of my spells. It's annoying when it happens. Probably fair, but still. Summoner boss, eh? This is a lie. There's no summoning here. Yeah, we got a we've got a lot of like really heavy frequent hits. Ooh, combo gloves. Uh let's see, basic I kinda have an extra combo. That's actually really nice. I wait no, the, the previous gloves were on another level entirely. So we wanna go here? Do I even care? No. I care for none of these. Let's just save my money. And fire boss. I don't need that. See, tiny crocodile heart... Tiny crocodile heart would be interesting for this. Yeah. Could be. Okay. There we go. Time to stay away. I gotta remember to use the lightning move. I mean, honestly, it's probably better that I'm just... That I just hit her regularly. Whoops. Like, the lightning and my regular attacks kind of combo together really well. There we go. Uh, let's see, we don't care about that. And there we've beaten our first boss, and we get, uh, Toxic Bolas. Interesting. I don't use them often, but I might as well grab them, seeing as we've got them. Let's see, Reddit was mentioning it doesn't work either. The robe is bugged not to work with any max HP alterations or it's intended not to. Yeah, I was trying that with uh, some of the basic max HP increasing items, but it didn't look like it was working either. I wasn't sure if... Oh yeah, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it was limited on uh, even tiny crocodile heart. Oh boy. Yeah, gotta be careful. And yeah, my combo is kind of delicate. If I get off kilter at all, it screws me up pretty bad. Okay. Riptide. Oh, wait, no. Riptide's my, my starter. Yeah, let's, let's up, up Riptide for sure. Oh, it got bigger. Yes. Okay, so... Mystic Monopole. Has to evade when at low health. Expel to be a critical. We could get the Flower Diadem. That would be kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't want Mystic Monopole. That would be a bad idea. Honestly, most of these items just aren't useful for me. I'd like them to be. But they just aren't, really. I think that's actually kind of just a feature of this game. Uh, let's see. Ow. That didn't work. 
gonna kind of wail on these things from here. There we go. That's one way to do it. Yeah, my regular attack does buttloads of damage. Everything else is kind of okay, but that that regular attack is good. I think I might have to build for a. Uh... An attack speed build using it. Like kind of the assassin's glasses. Build, oh, damn it. Why are there never any enemies when I've got my signature charge? It's an unfortunate thing. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else? No. Hello. Is there anything quite as splendid as a magnificent pile of gold? Let's make a deal. All of your gold for all of my chaos gems. Sure. Good as gold. Let's do this again sometime. That wasn't as many chaos gems as I'd wanted, but I'll take it. So, I realize that might hurt us in the long run, but at the same time, the more uh, the mold more gold I get, the, uh, the more new spells we can pick up. And since I'm not really... I'm not really betting on my victory to begin with, it's kind of just like a, eh. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's get rid of you. Bought loads of damage. Oh, he was over here. Holy crap, my... My basic arcana does damage. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to try this again and build for it. Rock solid tomahawk. Oh. Interesting. That really is a long duration. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything here? No, none of those are really amazing. And she doesn't sell any upgrades. So we'll have to try the throwing axe. It seems interesting, but... I, I don't know. The main problem is just like... It has to have a whole lot of damage or something to really make it worth it. I guess it just kind of follows me around for a little while. Yeah, compared to my regular attack, it just ain't, ain't good. There might be a build for it, but it just feels really underwhelming because it's the only spell you can use in the same action. And compared to my, like, just regular basic arcana, not, not really doing it for me there. Are there any new spells for chaos? Not a clue. I'd hope so, just because chaos spells are awesome. Uh, let's see. Let me buy your relics. Just drop in the... Okay, so what does he have? No. N maybe? I don't exactly know which of one of ones of these I really would like to use here. Because the Wallet of Vigor really isn't helping me that much. I was hoping I could do more, like, tricks with it. But so far, no dice. Uh, 
Okay. Oh. It's these guys. That's less exciting. I can't I can't suck them up like I can do with everything else. Let's see, who remembers Runers in its chaos magic? Oh man, I didn't even know anybody uh remembered Runers. That game was fascinating. I desperately wanted it to be better than it was. Uh less ugly and more stuff. Cause yeah, that game had a fantastic spellcrafting system. And it was really fun to play. But yeah, the the game looked garbage and it needed more updates. I remember like the local multiplayer crash and a bunch of other things that yeah, just kind of burns you out on the game. But it was it was neat. That was a that was actually one of the games that like really originally put me on the map. I don't know why. I don't know why people loved it so much. Unfortunately, I have like little compunction to go back just because of how freaking weird the gameplay was. Let's see, so what do we got? That might actually help. It'd be interesting to do a uh, jump build someday. Chance to shock foes. That, in that increases the damage a decent amount. Why not? But yeah, Runers was one of those indie games that I always wish they made like a proper sequel for. That looks good. Okay. Just gonna play it safe. There's nobody left. I can just take my time. And do buttloads of damage. There we go. Yeah, I do a ton. Uh, let's see. Anything else? We get flashy boots. Flashy boots gets me triple dash, lowers your movement speed. Let's not do that. Oh, they are cursed. Well, I'm going to drop that. Can't get rid of that. I'm going to lose the Wallet of Vigor. Wallet of Vigor is not that amazing. Okay, so now I'm slower, which is interesting and awkward and whatever. It's fine. I don't like going slow in these. Triple dash? We'll see. Okay. I will give it to the triple dash. Ah, that sucks. Oh, hey, I'm back. Uh, let's see. So the main problem is just she hits too hard. It's a problem. Not bad, you certainly know how to stay cool. Ta-ta for now and stay frosty. But yeah, I, I like these robes, but I think you need just a little bit more HP. Uh, because as it stands, almost anything can one-shot you. Yeah, these will be pretty rad. Oh, they got rid of the boss going back to full health when you revive. I've almost never used those, so... Uh, that sort of thing... 
just never you oh well that sucks Okay, let's just send you down. This is going to take some getting used to. So, the triple jump is going to be kind of interesting. I, or the triple dash. Well, I fell as well. Can't bust those up. Should probably wait for the poison to wear off and the healing. I don't know. I feel like this run is... Probably going to be in trouble just because I everything does a quarter of my health or more Which would work in some other roguelikes But in this one it's brutal because three hits can just kill you and I don't remember this game doing this much damage honestly Well, You know what? I think this is a good stopping point actually it's well past a good stopping point but sometimes runs just kind of end that way anyway so we're back to wizard of legend for at least a little while i don't exactly know how much content we've exactly got to get through uh the sky temple seems like it's not going to be too much different from any of the other temples but those new spells the new signature spells like every single well maybe not every single regular spell but it looks like they took a lot of the old you know just regular uh, secondary spells, you know, not your basic, not your dash, and they turned a lot of those secondary spells into signature spells as well, which means there's a whole, whole world of of new builds that we get to try out with this uh, this new update. I'm really excited to see uh, what we can come up with. So I'm gonna mess around at least I don't know, ten episodes. We'll we'll see how it goes. I I I really know. It really depends on how long it takes me to unlock everything and mess around and come up with some neat combos. So, I, if you got some suggestions, I'll take them. Uh, first couple episodes are gonna be me messing around, but, uh, well, you know, I'll listen to some, some ideas as well. And I guess with that out of the way, I will see you guys in the next episode of Wizard of Legend. And as always, thanks for watching.